G'day guys, I hope you're all doing very well and had a wonderful holidays. Uh, this time I'm playing through a guitar that's turning 10 this year. This is the Tanglewood TSB 58. Uh, this particular one I've had since uh, 2010 technically, but it was built in 2009. Uh, so therefore, it, at some point, it is definitely going to be a definite 10 year old guitar uh, in my collection. Now this one, I'm not too sure on the colour. It looks to be more like a honey burst, more than a, a cherry sunburst. Maybe it's an aged cherry sunburst, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah. Anyway, so uh, some of the specs with this one is uh, they come with a three piece mahogany body with a weirdly jointed uh, mahogany neck. And uh, it's a lot, it's a little bit more skinnier than a typical Les Paul. Well, let me show you. Well, this thing's much lighter, I'll tell you what. Uh, just double check, I'll get this near the mic. Well, a little bit of chambering. Bit of slight chambering as well. It's made it a lot more lighter, so it's definitely mahogany since it's pretty heavy. Some of the other specs, it's a set neck, a rosewood fretboard, uh, complete with uh, jumbo frets, huge jumbo frets, I should say. And uh, overall plays nice, plays brilliantly. In fact, I think it would give the Chapman ML2s a run for their money. Uh, that's how good these are. Now it also comes with a flame maple top, uh, this particular one. Some of them also just come with a plain maple uh, depending on what sort of guitar you're getting, whether you get a gold top or a wine red or metallic red, or a, unless you're getting one of these ones, you get the uh, flame maple, or you get it in tobacco burst or even um, black. Yeah, they even do a, a three, a triple pickup, triple humbucker uh, model. Man, I'd love to get a hell of those. Anyway, now one of the unfortunate specs of these guitars is the funny little joint. Now, that should be pretty obvious, yeah? Not sure if you can see that, yeah? Unfortunately, this one's had a drop in its past, in the past 10 years, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but that's what happens when you drop a Les Paul with one of those joints on the ground face first. And I did break the uh, plastic cover as well, which sucks. But the guitar is a trooper. It's been glued back together there at the neck. Uh, it's had an upgrade of pickups from the original and twistle HV58s. Uh, they were Alnico 2 low output single coils based off PAFs, pretty much. Um, I'll get to a little bit on them and in another video at some point. But I've upgraded them to Seymour Duncan pickups. The classic setup of the 59 at the neck and the JB at the bridge. Who could forget the JB? Man, I love those pickups. Uh, the neck profile is very similar to ML2, as I said. Uh, it's very narrow, but very wide as well, like a typical Gibson. The fret, the actual fret ratio is pretty much close to a Gibson one where the frets are a lot closer. Uh, and yeah, pretty much plays just as awesome, if not better. So we'll plug her in and we'll give her a play.
the Tangled TSB58. Let me know in the comments section your thoughts on these guitars. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.